welcome back to another episode of Caribbean Dish. Today, we'll be making some down-home Bahamian boiled fish. It's going to be really good. But before I get started with that, I gotta get my coffee. So when I'm done, we'll be ready. So now we're back. What we're gonna do is start to put in our herbs. I've already taken the fish and put it in the pan. We have some nice, thick grouper. It's gonna be very good. Along we have some onions. We'll start by putting our onions in. And you also want to keep the stove on a medium high temperature. So we put in our onions. Break them up really nice. We we'll also add some potatoes. At least about a cup of potato so in terms of measurement what you really want to do is with that, that amount of fish what you would do is you know you compensate with the potatoes depending on how much you want some people don't like a lot of potatoes but you can just put it uh, depends on how much you want in it now you also add two little slabs of butter and mix it about uh, two teaspoons or two tablespoons of butter also what I've done <coughs> the lemons I had three lemons and I use my strainer and I strain the lemons. And now I'm gonna pour the lemon juice over the top of the fish. Okay. And then what I will do is add some salt. And this should take no longer than 25 minutes. Fish doesn't take long to cook. Now, when it comes down to our pepper, you know I love pepper. So I'm gonna use the whole pepper. You don't necessarily have to do it, but this is what I do because I like it, it to be really spicy. So I use a whole habanero pepper. You can cut, cut it up big or small. That's gonna get everything, you know? Okay, what we'll do now <clears throat> is bring this up to a boil. A little. Now, we also add at a minimum one cup of water. This is one cup of water. And fish tends to have a lot of water also, so it just suffice. Some people don't put as much water. You can put maybe half a cup if you want to, but you know, sometimes you have a lot of people to feed, so you want to have more volume. So that's what I would recommend. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna cover this up. Let it come to a boil. And after 15 minutes, we'll come back and check it out. So we'll be right back. And so now we're back. 15 minutes has passed, and what we're gonna do now is check out what's going on under there. Okay? Just look at that, doesn't that look beautiful? It smells so nice. Mm. You can smell the butter, the onions. Mm. Very good fragrance. At this point in time, what you can do is just do a little taste test and determine whether you may need a little bit more salt or maybe some more pepper. But that's the time that you would normally go in there and just check it out. Otherwise, just leave it, let it cook. And you'll know that uh, it's done just by checking the, the potatoes. It normally takes about 25 minutes, tops, and you should be out of there. Okay? So we'll be, back, we'll be right back with the end result. Hi, and welcome back to our finished product. Nice, hot, bohemian boiled fish. Oh, it looks so good. If you guys like what you're seeing here today, Please like, subscribe, and share. And you know what? That's not going to be any good without a nice cold science. I'll see you guys in the next episode.